everybody, it's Tasha. I am an advisor from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and I am so excited for the two new collections that are coming out, the Keeping the Faith and the Staycation. So let's go over the, the Keeping the Faith first. I love this collection. Actually, I love them both. So um, the Keeping the Faith is a faith-based collection. There is some beautiful papers and stuff. Um, lovely blues and terracottas and navies. Um, it can be used for christenings and baptisms, weddings, um, anything faith-based, which would be lovely. There is a beautiful blue album that says blessed. If you can see that there and look how pretty that blue, it's like a, it's like a periwinkle blue. So really, really pretty. Um, I think this blue blessed album would be beautiful as a little boy or little baby album. It could also be a wedding album as well for being blessed. Um, it's a very neutral saying on the front. Um, the stickers are very neutral too. The border stickers can be used in anywhere. Um, the crosses and stuff are a little bit more faith-based, but that's okay. And then some of the sayings are just beautiful as well. I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite pages is this sunrise, but for those who aren't faith-based, how pretty would that be on a travel page for a sunrise or a sunset travel page? And then this other, which is a brick album, a brick, brick wall as well. The papers could be used for um, a wedding album in those blues and terracotta colors. Um, a baby boy album would be lovely in this collection as well. So there's lots of different uses for it. I also think it would coordinate really nicely with the new cottage uh, garden collection that just came out at the beginning of the month as well with those blues and greens. They're all in the same tones and stuff. So don't be surprised. Don't be afraid to um, mix and match your collection. So that is the Keeping the Faith one, which is so lovely. The other collection that just came out is called Staycation. And this one is so great. It's got a little bit of everything in it for everybody. It's a very neutral color tone. There's greens and navies and yellows. It coordinates really nicely with the Boho Escape as well as the Art Nouveau. So once again, don't be afraid to mix and match your collections. I just wanna show you a couple, couple pieces of paper that I really, really like. There's this green, minty green, swirly geometric, and then these little thought bubbles. How cute is that? And then I grabbed a couple pages from Boho Escape. So let's mix these up. So that really bold print and then the thought bubbles would go really nicely together. And then these two green pages are within the same color tone too. How cute. Um, it would be great for a COVID album. There's lots of little doodads in it. There's a tap, a little picnic, a little staycation, some cards, a tablet, um, a stack of books. Uh, all sorts of things to do with staycation, a, so a few little COVID things. The enamel dots on the embellishments are just super cute. There's home sweet home, staying home, lo love, connected, all that fun stuff. And then the stickers as well. There's like pizza night, cameras, um, play parks, playing chess, uh, uh, the controllers and stuff for the gaming consoles. I'll have to use that one with my kids and stuff. And then staying in and fun and different things like that. And then the border stickers as well. The dominoes here, how cute, the picket fence. And then with this collection, there is a Fast and Fabulous that just says memories. So once again, this could be a very neutral album for anybody who just wants memories in it. It would be easy, quick pages for people to put down their pictures, add a couple embellishments, and then they have quick and easy pages. So it doesn't have to be a staycation. It could be a vacation album. It could just be a general memories album. It could be um, whatever you want it to be. And then the two new tools that also came out are, this is the wine chain. How cute is that? Can you imagine doing that on white paper and then coloring the bottles red and white and stuff? Would be great for vineyard pictures, 
um, foodie pictures to go with that. All sorts of fun stuff with that one. And then there's also the Dine Border Maker cartridge which that comes out looking like knives and forks and plates. And a quick tip, you always want to remember that to line it up with these little black lines here when you start your punch at the edge of the paper and then match the punch with the picture here so you get so you get a continuous um, border punch with that. So that's some ideas on how to use the collections. I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time. Bye.